again. Popping in at the start of this week's episode yes. because we just wanted to say a quick thank you for anyone who bought we tickets to the Girls Bathroom Planet, Planet Tour. Tour. We cannot believe it, you guys. You it, got, we were shook, we, we, let we, me tell you. We were not expecting the sales that we got genuinely genuinely like, and the amount of you guys that have literally gone and bought tickets for swansea york dublin <laughs> Liverpool, you know, like, just like places we've never even been before <laughs> it's crazy <gasps> and we think we've pretty much sold out i know we can't believe but we right thought now we we're gonna we... be pushing these tickets all yeah, year long guys right um everyone like on our team like all of us like our parents everyone is like what we can't believe how it. have you like nearly sold yeah. out all of them we, so yeah. we it's added all another thanks dublin. to you guys yeah yeah. And we, we a just, London matinee. The week, we, lovely we, afternoon. We're show. speechless. So we've not had the official as of right, as we're recording it. We've not had the official report on exactly what we've done, but yeah. we think they're pretty much all gone. Which so is wild. If you got one, fantastic. We can't wait to see you. We can't wait to see you. And we're seeing, we're seeing all your TikToks. People I getting know, tickets, so and nice. they're so excited. And so it actually nice. is just so lovely. We're so excited. We, we, are, we just wanted to say thank you because yes. we were so overwhelmed with the like, overwhelmed with the news on. Friday when tickets went out. Oh, well, so oh, well, thank you, you so know, much for being we there, speechless. for setting your alarms. Yes. We, we really hope any of you who wanted to get yes. a ticket has got one. Please. Um, there I may hope. still be a few left. Yeah. The link there is in our be. girls' bathroom bio, mm -hmm. but we just were really overwhelmed by the response. We yeah. just wanted to quickly say thank you so much. And um, September can't come back in soon, are you guys? Enjoy the episode. Okay, so question of the oh, week. Oui. This week is... Absolutely, Corker. I'm so intrigued about Same. this. Same. I, 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 so intrigued about this. I feel this. like in my life, to, tell them what the thing is like, before I go on. So tell us the most brutally honest piece of advice you've ever had to give a friend. I hope there's some Corkers in there. I, have I can, I have can have think we, of something. Oh, you've given someone an intervention before. I have yeah. given an intervention yeah, before. Yeah, absolutely. And that was like... That was a big deal. That was a big sit down talk yeah. at my home. Yeah. Yes, it was. <laughs> yes. And big intervention. And it was big it, intervention. It, it's like an intervention. It was it, an intervention. It's like it gets to the point where it's like, I've been putting up with your behavior for so long because you were. I was, yeah. And you were really, you, you know, you were put in situations mm. and, you were, <laughs> and then it got to the point where you're like, no. And I it boiled over. The biggest piece of advice, I think, I think the crux of what I said was like basically, if you keep acting the way you are, you're gonna lose all, all your, your friends. friends. You're gonna lose yeah. me. Like I will not stick around. Yeah, you're gonna lose this person, this yeah. person, this person, and yeah. and that and yeah. Yeah, cool, blimey. Still wasn't enough though. Shit. No, didn't get through. Didn't get through to the membrane. Didn't get. No. I think it's probably. I think it did get through. Eventually, but at but that point, late. what I said would happen happened, and it was like, yeah. well, it's it's too so late you now. Your head screwed on. You I'd like to think future. so, <laughs> but it's sad. It's not nice. It is sad. It's it's it is it's sad. it's not nice. No, it wasn't. But that's just something that that comes to my mind. Yeah, that's the only thing that comes to my mind. I've never issued an intervention. Um, okay, so what's the most brutal piece of advice you've ever given a friend? Okay. Um, suck it up and get over it, girl. Okay. Okay, yeah, um, absolutely. Okay. That your boyfriend is a manipulator. Oh, mm. do you know what? Sometimes okay. you, do need to, you do need to hear that. Oh, he doesn't not want a girlfriend. He just doesn't want you to be his girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, that's the hardest <laughs> piece. Of, that, that, that's the hard piece of advice to swallow. Yeah. He just doesn't like you, girl. Mm. Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. Stop begging it for boys attention okay oh, 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 oh. okay i couldn't hear that one stop begging okay, it stop so begging yeah, it imagine i told you stop begging it <laughs> <laughs> no seriously you're actually begging it <laughs> that, <laughs> i'd cry your boyfriend is a rat <laughs> that's oh, not advice that's not advice your boyfriend's a rat goodbye <laughs> oh, oh god if he was in love with you he never would have cheated yeah, on you yeah that's solid advice mm -hmm. that's solid your advice your boyfriend treats you like shit yeah absolutely okay. sometimes you gotta hear it your boyfriend's an ugly ass motherfucker <laughs> 
<laughs> he is an ugly ass. He is ugly. Sometimes you've got to hear that though. He's ugly. I know, but you that's know not what I mean. yeah, but, but in the I moment, think only in the only in the instance of when, like, if Chintzia got treated destroyed. like shit and couldn't get over a guy, I'd be like, he's fucking ugly. ugly. <laughs> like, and then you actually only think in he is that fucking ugly. only in that instance, I yeah. think that is okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you're a smash and dash. Ouch. 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 No, I love him though. <laughs> I'm in love with him. No, it's actually so sad, isn't it? Ouch. Okay. Complaining without taking action won't get you anywhere. True. Um, that jumper is ugly. <laughs> 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 fucking ouch no ouch. if we were commenting on my clothes I'd actually cry <laughs> saying that's fucking, fucking ugly. ugly no because we've had that before and it's not nice it's not when nice when someone is seriously going no it's fucking ugly do you like my new top no, no. <sighs> that actually hurts I, I, could, I would never have the heart to say that never never I'd say yeah I'd say never. but I do I think, but it's all I personal think, style like yeah if you were asking me should I wear this or this you can word it in a way that's yes. like, yeah, I like yes. that, but I think that is so much better. Yes. You've definitely got better. Yes, but style is so subjective. Yeah. Like the stuff Mariana, my younger sister wears, God, I want to touch with a barge pole. But, but it's her style. But it's her style and it looks cute and I support it and I yeah. buy the stuff she wants. Told my bestie she needed to see a therapist. Okay. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up all He's around. never going to be the boyfriend you want him to be. Oh, that one hurts. Yeah. You're being toxic. <sighs> You're a, you're a shit singer. Please stop posting singing videos online. That's crushing people's oh, dreams. Oh no. Oh, that one. Oh that one my hurt. God. That one would actually hurt. Ouch. Because like, if Sophia was a struggling actress. And you just said to me, baby, you're shit. That like there's nicer yeah, it, thing. There's nicer ways to word it. Yeah. Why don't you pursue think, something else? Think about else? friends. They all supported Joey for years. I know, for years. You know, when years they they years. feeded his delu Delulu. They, they did. And that's and just how got, you got to be with yeah. some of that stuff. Maybe if like you got to the age of, but then you could have. Even if you were 45, you could make it as a, a more mature actress. You can. And land some of the mothering roles. Absolutely. You know? Sometimes if anything, like, is there, is there less competition? I exactly. don't know. Exactly. The grandmas. You mm. know, we, we need grandma actresses. Yeah. So um, there's always a time to make it. That they're being a tart. That's not a word a that tart? I use. Mean. <laughs> You're a tart. A tart. What is that? A whore and a slut? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> a new hair matched no you can't be mean about hair matched a freddo frog that doesn't make sense what does that mean oh god this this is advice don't go broke trying to look rich act your wage wow act your wage i've never heard that before in my life act your wage, wage. Don't go broke trying to look rich. But I get the messaging behind that. Yeah, I that. get the messaging like, behind that. Stop her. trying to stunt and try and impress all these people who actually yeah. don't even care. Like, yeah, yeah, what that, yeah, that's yeah. just so yeah. stupid. Yeah. At your wage. You're the one hurting yourself at this point. <sighs> Ouch. Yeah, sometimes you've got to hear That it. she was the reason her relationships weren't working. <sighs> It's hard to reflect inward, it really is. So, you know what? Like, we struggle with that all of us, isn't it? Reflecting inward is one of the hardest things. Taking accountability. <laughs> yeah. Taking accountability is, uh, is a tough tricky. one. It's pretty tricky. It's a pretty tough one. It's a tough one, though. Mm -hmm. mm. Because, like, even, like in situations when you're like talking to your friends about it, you want your friends on your side. Completely. You know, if, if I was venting about a situation that happened to me, I think and I Sophia would... went, well, I think you're the actual problem. <laughs> say, shut the <laughs> fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. I would rather my friends lie to me and be on my side. S same. In, when I'm in, in that, that state of mind, yes. when I'm like venting and I'm just like, don't challenge me Especially on this, Especially about please. a boy. Yeah. Like, just get on my side. Absolutely. I don't need to hear your, 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 you know, unemotional reasoning. Yeah. Right I don't now. need to hear your rational response. Your rational yeah. thoughts. <laughs> That the hair extensions looked bad. Okay. Okay. You, you know, maybe I've been there that's once or your, twice. That's not no, your best set. No, listen, I've given Lydia, I, we've given it uh, to her spray. Your hair extensions look shit. <laughs> Take them out. 
I've we've I've given that advice just like that before. She needs to hear that sometimes. <laughs> yes, yeah, she does. But she knows it too. She's not <laughs> she's not in denial. So Lydia, my sister, would rather have shit extensions than her own fucking length, right? Wouldn't she? Yeah. I'll never forget Coachella 2022. I will that set of never extensions. Ponytail this thick, <laughs> all on one side of her head. She had about she had about seven tapes right above her ear. She could do nothing with it. And the tapes were this. If you know tape, these tapes were this wide. It was anyway, so big. I'll never forget that. Oh, oh, I had a bug in my hair the other day. You saw a picture. Of I that know. Bug. A bug landed on my head. Bug. And Lydia went. Bug yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. That a pair of sunglasses looked horrible on her. They were Fendi. Okay. Okay. Do you know what? Do you know? Do you know what? Sunglasses is actually because you a, yeah, can't tell how you look in sunglasses. You don't know what suits your face? Because my perception of my face is so warped. Same. I don't know what I look like. I don't. Sophia, we've I got issues not, though. <laughs> I could not draw my face. I I, I don't know but what I, I look like. When so. you when you put sunglasses on you're looking through that tint. You can't see your yes. face. And I'm like, I don't even think yes. these look so, good. So the sunglass shop is where I would actually seek I would really value event, that. Advice. I'd, I'd appreciate that. Yeah. Last thing you want is sunglasses that make, just make you look freaky. Look, make look worse. <laughs> just make, they just make you look worse. You may as well just fucking take them off. They just make you look worse. They're not doing you any favors. <laughs> Sophia, those sunglasses are doing you no favours. Take them off, please. I don't know if you think. I think you think you look good in them, but you don't fucking look good. Take them off. Oh. They're doing you no favours. Listen, I've had a few pairs of sunglasses over my time that just do not suit my face. You know, buying sunglasses online is just, you can't do it. Oh, you, you can never. To, I've learned that lesson yeah, now. I'm not doing any more of that. Yeah. Just because Hayley Bieber looks good in them does doesn't not mean, mean my fat will. face mm. will suit them. So doesn't mean I can pull them off. <laughs> yeah. There's the lessons I've learned. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I've been deep in the, these, these Ugg Tasmans that everyone's wearing. And, and, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I put them on today, guys. I'm wearing the dark chocolate brown Ugg Tasman things. And I'm just looking at them now. Low key, these are so, so ugly. ugly. <laughs> like, these are so ugly. And I'm thinking, I can't wait. I'm low key. They thinking, need to be. I think like they, these are cute. I think they look bare. I think they are cute, but I think they look really cute with leggings. Leggings. Do you know what? Sometimes they look really I put cute them with on. A flared legging. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure about a flared legging yes. on me personally. It's not my shape. It's a sh- it's my shape. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> if you say so, babe. All right. Okay. <laughs> I think you look better. <laughs> in a... Well, I would say no to the flared leggings, <laughs> but uh, go off. Okay. I don't think they do you any favors. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, absolutely. <laughs> oh god. Right. I'm just still scrolling. We've had a lot of responses. Most are relating to men, like girl girls telling their friends, like, look, he just doesn't yeah. like you. Yeah. Get over yeah. it. Um, that when, seems to be the yeah. majority of the response. Yeah. Because it's... That she smells of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Have you had a Dairy Lee triangle? <laughs> you got a cheese string in your bag. You got a cheese... I can fucking smell it from here. You got a cheese string in your bag. I can smell it. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Uh, okay, well, that was pretty enjoyable. Mostly myself. about guys there. That response. Yeah, was. I think I I feel like the main interventions that need to be uh, <laughs> acted upon are the ones where it's like your boyfriend is treating you like shit. Yeah, or he's a manipulator. He's a lying cheater. Because it takes and courage. He's never gonna change. I think it takes a lot of courage mm. to. Depends on your friendship dynamics, but yeah. I think I think it takes a lot of courage to be brutally, brutally honest. honest. It does. With your friends. Cool. Because sometimes I'm like, I don't want you to be brutal honest with yeah. me. Yeah. Unless I was really in dire I think straits. If it, you know, when it gets to the point where it's like, this boyfriend is lying and saying they're going to change. You oh, need it won't to happen step again. in. Then it's like, no, this, mm. if, the, if, it, if it was like a recurring cheating, you know, thing mm. and, you know, you were still forgiving him or something. That's when, I, you know, you just have to. Or your best friend was acting a bit wild yes it's a reeler in a little yes. bit yes if it was you know drugs and alcohol or sleeping with married men yes those kind of vibes yes and it's like an addiction to married men or something mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. absolutely okay hit us with the first dilemma okay right we're following on from the question of the week here we've got girl talk best friend is in love with an engaged man 
And then she's put dot, dot, dot. The story only gets worse. Oh, 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 oh. I couldn't Brilliant. imagine. You know what? That would be This is so where sad. we need some brutal advice, Wouldn't isn't that it? Wouldn't be so sad? Imagine being in love with someone who was engaged. That's like, actually deep that. Heartbreaking, actually. It's really heartbreaking, really sad. And, and maybe he's just chatting shit saying, I'm going to leave a few. Never does. Never does. It's okay. Really sad. Let's see what this is about. So. Okay. I'm in a group of three. We're all 21, 22. Sly. There's me, Helen, and Sarah. Picks at the end, of course. Brilliant. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sarah went on a Euro summer this year. Good for They're Sarah. from Australia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Helen and I stayed in Australia. I didn't keep in comms with Sarah as much as Helen did while she was away. Yeah. Helen would FaceTime Sarah once or twice a week and Helen would yeah. pass on the key updates. Okay, okay, look, so you're not as close with Sarah as Helen is with Sarah. Back in July, Sarah was on Yacht Week and I heard Ooh. through Helen that Sarah spent the whole week having deep conversations all night long with a Brian. Oof. On was, a yacht? Who was on his own books party. I think that's a stag. Stag. Right. So I'm just, this is what I'm just inferring. Group of men on a mm -hmm. stag do on a yacht. She's working the yacht. Is that it? I don't know. I don't know what yacht week is. I'm a yeah, yacht week, isn't it? Like she's not working. She's on a Euro oh. summer. She's on holiday. Well, she just got invited onto the yacht then. Isn't yacht week. I thought it was a ra when races. No. I don't think you race yachts. <laughs> Um, you race boats. I'm not so, yeah. not so sure. I think Yacht Week, it's like it's like a, bo a boat. Like a car show. Yeah, boat car, show. there we go. There we go. That's exactly it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So you've got wind that Sarah's having deep conversations okay. with, with a stag. Okay. okay. Um, neither Helen nor I heard anything more from Sarah yeah. about this, Brian. Fast forward to a couple of weeks ago when Sarah got back to Australia. She's in love. Sarah, Helen and I go out to dinner. Absolutely. And Sarah says, so I've been seeing someone. So, right okay so this is this is like gone beyond just like turns out romance. this whole time literally since july sarah has been talking with this brian over text Shit. essay long messages back Shit. and forth meeting up with him in random cities and they are now in love uh, so, so, right because where's he from so they've been flying to each other in since, capitals since july is that july August, September, October, November. We're going on four months. In capitals, he is still engaged to this day. For context. Was it his stag, dude? Yes, he was the no, stag. No, he wasn't. He was the stag. Oh, no. My husband's yes. never going on a stag, do. For context, Brian is 28 and his fiance is 33. Brian is from Dubai, a businessman. Ooh. He has multiple successful businesses Ooh. with his fiance. Oh, yes. God. Brian and Jenny, we'll call the fiance, Jenny. have a dog. Building houses together. In Dubai. Own businesses. And of course, are getting married. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> No, no. What? Jenny's got a million followers. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, oh, God. Jenny's okay. known. Jenny's okay. got a blue tick. Poor Jenny. Oh, mm. God. Oh, God. Okay. Well, uh, hopefully okay. Jenny listens and can piece this together. <laughs> yeah, Jenny. Uh, Jenny, does your stag Jen do? Are you getting married? Jenny, did your... Any a million follower Beyonce, girls out there? Beyonce, Yacht Week. Mm -hmm. Does it ring in any bells? You're in Dubai. I won't get into every little detail, okay, but I wanted to recount the point at which Brian and Sarah went from platonic to very much not platonic. Okay, Bri okay Jenny, ears pricked, please piece this together. Brian and Sarah have met up in Spain. So this was one of the, this is where they met or this is one of their meetings? They had ups? a, well, this, this is where they went from platonic to oh, not platonic. okay, okay. okay. So after Yacht Week, they met up in Spain. But they'd booked separate accommodation as this week was the first time they'd met up since Yacht Week. Yacht On week, the first night, Brian and Sarah went for, went for platonic drinks and dinner, which led to clubbing and dancing. What? Wait. I just want to get through this I, email. I know, but I'm just saying like, it was never platonic. No, it wasn't. Like I'm not meeting a guy who I find attractive and, and no, thinking it's just pl about flying to not. Spain to no. go for a platonic dinner with no, a guy. No, It's always no. not just platonic. But they went their separate ways at the end of the night, right. so she says. Oops. So she On says. night two, they did the same thing. Although this time, Sarah ends up at Brian's hotel okay. and accidentally falls asleep okay, okay. on his chest. <laughs> 
I mean, I'd be falling asleep on his chest too, I imagine. Uh, okay. The smooching with a chest. Snuggles. In the morning when they woke up together, Sarah and Brian were staring at each other. And Sarah what says, details? Sarah says, I really want to kiss you right now. <laughs> Wait, so they hadn't kissed? And Brian responds, what's stopping you? <laughs> What are these details? What? Sarah kisses Brian. One thing leads to another and they spend the whole day together in bed. <laughs> okay, detail. Oh my God. My heart is breaking for this fiance though, oh, guys. Yeah, like, no. I'm sorry. From that point onwards, Sarah says it was very couple holding hands, kissing, yeah. whatever. Obviously there was a lot of tension. They had that romance. Brian night. has apparently told Jenny that they should split up, but I don't <laughs> think this is necessarily true because it's been five months and they are still engaged. <laughs> yeah, he's Sarah is it. so smitten with Brian and doesn't <sighs> think she's doing anything wrong. Oh, oh Sarah, God, babe, she Sarah. does. Oh, she does it's, need it's, some brutal it's, honesty. It's like very, this is like I like feel I like, appreciate that Sarah's saying in her own mind, like, well, I'm not the one that's engaged. I'm a single girl, but also like this guy isn't yours. But but also this guy, he's disgusting. Disgusting, yeah. I think that that's the key here. That this completely, guy is disgusting, and I feel like this is normal behavior for him to meet other women overseas mm. and kind of form these relationships with them. And this while, is just while what he Jenny's does. got no idea in Dubai, do you know what I mean? Because it's quite easy to hide that, isn't it? Yeah. Until it gets onto the girls' bathroom. Especially broadcast. if you're a guy that's traveling for work a exactly. lot. Exactly. And... Like I feel like this is normal for him. Mm. But for but, so. but but for your friend, if it, it's Sarah, this is like oh my whirlwind God, romance. Is whirlwind, whirlwind romance. But he's used to this shit. I feel like Helen and I feel sick to our stomachs about <sighs> the whole thing, and we ask Sarah. Do you not feel terrible thinking about Jenny? Yeah. And Sarah says, no, I know that Brian is the one. Ouch. Okay. Okay. Sarah I just acts. Feel, just, oh keep going. God. Yeah, Sarah going. acts like Jenny is the bad guy holding Brian back from this incredible relationship. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Sarah's getting a little bit delulu. Jenny does not know that Brian is having an affair. Um, you may be wondering how Brian has been getting away with this. According to Sarah, yet yeah, Brian travels a lot for work. Um, He's, blah, 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 he blah, blah. does this often. Jenny. Oh God, of course. Cause Jenny is big on Insta. Jenny continues to post about how she misses Brian. While he's in oh my Sarah. god, she's put it's just all so sickening. It oh, it, it really oh, is. Oh. Okay. Let's get to the end of this now. Sarah got back to Australia in late October, and the next day Brian came to visit Sarah well, and I mean, hasn't left since. I mean, he must like Sarah must spends like every second with Brian and hasn't made a single effort to catch up or attend any of the plans Helen and I have been trying to make for our group yeah. of three. Um, another aspect of this is that I am meant to be moving to a different city with Sarah next year as we both have new jobs in that city and we were going to get an apartment together. Yeah. The whole time Sarah was in Europe, I was thinking that we had to have this, that we need to have a formal chat to yeah. organize our living situation. Yeah. Sarah has had other plans. During the course of Sarah explaining her story about Brian to us, I asked her what she was going to do when Brian goes back to Dubai right. and we move in together. Yeah. She excitedly tells me that Brian is going to move to the new city that we are both going to and we can is all he? live as a three. <laughs> can we? <laughs> um, and oh, yeah, and Sophia, because you'll be moving in with me and my new uh, fiance. Oh. <laughs> Um, <laughs> great okay. because Brian has got money he can pay for us all to have a nice place I'll to live I'm sure he can I and Helen on my behalf were super upset about her intentions with yeah. the living situation because it's completely delusional and rude yeah. since Sarah and I have planned to live together not with a random Brian who's got a fiance on the other side of the world yeah, it, it, sorry for the very long dilemma um, Helen and I would love some advice regarding what gosh, to do Helen. we truly have Sarah's best interests at heart yeah. knowing that she's completely delusional thinking yeah that this engaged man is the one yeah i want to add that sarah's mum approves of this relationship oh oh oh, oh god oh, okay oh, oh. sarah's mum approves because sarah's mum and dad met in a very similar way okay okay, okay. so they're not ones to judge and listen, we're not. Yeah. We're, we're, okay. We're, we're, yeah. We're right. not judging Sarah. I mean, if yeah, if my mum met my dad, yeah, and my dad was engaged to someone yeah. else, then I'd be like, yeah, why wouldn't I you mean, think this is Sa meant to be? It, it sounds like a beautiful love story. 
But Sarah right now, she's in this like... She's I just the, can't stop thinking about Jenny. She's in this obsession, in this obsession phase. How We've do we, get, there, how do we where, get across to her that what she is doing is so morally wrong and that she shouldn't trust Brian? Yeah. Helen and I are also very tempted to message Jenny on Insta. Maybe not our place, but the temptation is real. Yeah. So how do we be brutally honest with our bestie? Can we see a picture of the besties? We've got pictures of everyone. Th- we've got a picture of Brian? Yeah. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh my fucking God. Fuck. She sent us Jenny's Instagram. Fuck off. It's real. Oh my God. God Here we, are Brian and Jenny's Jenny? Insta profiles if you need to stalk. I'm, I don't want to click on that. Please. Wait, wait, we have Brian's Insta profile. Oh my God. What do we have here? We've got Jenny's Insta profile. <laughs> <laughs> Click it. I'm, I'm tempted to give this girl a message. Right, Aren't guys. Aren't you? We've just been Aren't fully... you? I mean, fuck. I mean, come on. Do we have a responsibility I here? don't know where the responsibility lies at this point. Uh, guys, right. we've never had anything like this on the podcast. Right, so we've been stalking Jenny and Brian okay very they, they much are... very much power insta couple you know when you see people couple goalie type shit each, i miss you i love you can't you know, wait to be reunited with this one and they're like in each other's bios and stuff you know when it's like that oh, i'm Lord. sorry um my moral compass is i know i feel yeah. like i'm in this now what it's like God. A, a serious crime has happened and we're at the foot of the scene it is Right? I don't know what I to do. <laughs> Wait, can we please see Sarah? Yeah. She doesn't look like okay, his so girlfriend. Okay, so what it is, is, is... These are all the friends. Oh. B- B- Brian very much, all his businesses are related to Jenny. Okay? And and like kind of what she does. So... Brian he needs d- Jenny. If, br- exactly. Brian needs Jenny, otherwise he ain't got... He, he's fucked. Yeah. People only follow Brian because they're following Jenny. Exactly. And Brian's only got his businesses because of, of Jenny. And, and what she's built. Okay? Brian's a piece of shit. shit. Okay. Piece of piece shit. Of shit. All right. So, and I feel like... Because I'm scared that, obviously, because he travels so much for work, that this is just what he does. And this is just, he knows he can't leave Jenny. Yeah, his, because his, his, his entire livelihood is Jenny, right? Yeah, his job is Jenny. Yeah. His businesses yeah. is Jenny. And it, it's in his best interest to- To be with Jenny. Be with Jenny and to keep the Instagram illusion alive with Jenny, right? To oh to, to To fuel their business. That's Definitely. That's what it is. That's what's so sad about some, like some Instagram like relationships is- It's not real. They're only validated f- through Instagram and, and through views. Now, now the question is so does, he ain't leaving jenny he's for not Sarah. This he is, is not leaving jenny he is engaged to, he is staying with jenny he the is question not breaking up the with jenny. question is is this also a fraud relationship for jenny yeah i was thinking and does she also do her own thing yeah. on the side and this is just how they live, they live. yeah because i was thinking maybe jenny I hope so. is aware of of everything and it's more of like an open relationship and she does the same but their best interest is to appear together online for the businesses yes because that but, does but, happen but he's not doing her any favors she she's the I, one I, I, she's the I, main I know, character i know maybe he runs a lot behind the scenes like i i i, I don't know so maybe Jenny is aware, okay, whatever Brian gets up to in Spain, he gets up to in Spain and she's kind of turning a blind eye because she, I don't know. Cause she, I don't she's know. Happy. Cause she's happy. She's got a nice, I don't, or I, I, she's clueless or, or, or she's completely clueless. God, there's a huge I, 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 part I of me right now that wants to message s- this girl, s- but, but, but Jenny, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. No, here. cause I, I feel like, it's see, it's fifty fifty. Jenny honestly might be like this, like be fine with all this, and this is just what and it's happens. just not our business, you know. And it's just not our business. It's Sarah who just needs to exit the situation, basically. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna so get messy. Sarah's let's focus in, on the friends here. Sarah's in Delulu. That's who's wrote in. Sarah's in Delulu. She's Sarah's in, complete, in Delulu. Ab- land. She's in complete upset. Look, we've all been there. We've all that, been there. It's that stupid obsession, and you can't even see the facts. You're like literally obsessed with this loser. Yeah. And it's just like we've all been there. We've all been. Hence there. why we've just read out all those times friends have had to give brutally honest advice right. everyone's right. been in the delusion right. so she, and, and and you know it's getting to the point where it's like okay brian's making all these weird 
promises. Yeah. Is he fuck moving to this city for Sarah? No he way. He cannot. I just, I no just, way. I just feel like that's more just like love bombing chat from Bullshit. Ryan to, to keep her on side, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. Because the moment Sarah realizes that Brian isn't actually serious about her and isn't actually going to move, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like, and him giving it all that, like I'll pay for the apartment. You know, it's 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 like oh, it's nice to hear because mm. oh, brilliant, no, no rent, free for me. rent, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's this all... is just like it, it's even trickier as well because Sarah's mum is on side because she's like, that's how I yes. met your dad. It can <laughs> yeah. work, you yeah. know. And it's like, well, fair enough, I guess. Listen, equally, they could be in love, and and and, and they might prove the whole world wrong, and they go may off and, prove the whole and, world and they wrong. Might, he might leave Jenny. And he might actually, you know, he might be being truthful. Maybe this Maybe. has never happened to him before. Maybe this is the first time he's cheated I, on Jenny. I think we just, if there's this, so many unknowns here. I think if this was Chintz and her mum was on side, and was Angie, supporting it. Angie would be so del- in Delulu as well I if she was would, on side with this. I would, I think I'd probably be exhausted by the whole situation yeah. and just be like, look, you know what I think. Yeah. I do not approve of this. I think you're making a terrible mistake. I think this guy is a piece of shit. I think he's a loser. I don't don't want to hear about him. Don't talk to me about him. I'm not giving you advice about him. Yeah. Don't come like don't come crying to me. Essentially, yeah. you would give tough that's, love. That's tough, brutal advice. Yeah, this yeah. is brutal yeah, advice absolutely. time. And I'd be like, but like, yeah. What can you yeah. do? And I also think it is I mean, it's nice for you that you have got Helen yes, on your side yes, as well. Yes. I think the only thing for Because you have to give tough love sometimes. Yeah. And just be like, I'm not gonna entertain this. I'm not gonna yeah. I'm not gonna It's just I don't shit approve. about it's the living situation next year. You know when you've had a plan? Of course. Right? You know, they had a plan, we've both got jobs in this new city. It's a big move, Huge right? Move. And I'm relying Scary. on you, Sarah, mm. for this move. Like you're one of my best friends and I thought we were gonna do this move together, find a flat and together. And you've thrown in this curveball. And all of a sudden you met this guy four months ago who's engaged, yeah. cheating on his, you know, uh, uh, cheating on his fiance. Yeah. I do think Chat that's really, shit. I do think that's really unfair. Yeah. Because I think you can definitely say to Sarah, like, I didn't sign up to live with a couple with a random guy i don't want to no. live with a couple we Especially signed a up guy you've just met we agreed to live together you know i really feel like you need to honor this agreement like mm. brian can live down the road if he wants to but like just take yeah. it easy for a Listen, second brian like, can have pay a our rent if he wants yeah <laughs> brian can pay the bills if he wants i'm not gonna hold it against him but take a breather for a sec yeah. and just like reason with me on this Please see the facts here. Yeah. See how it looks to me, you know? Like, because... Oh, God, God. This is really scary. I don't... Like, this is exhausting. I'm exhausted I'm just exhausted. hearing about it. I'm actually... And you're just the friend. Like, Sarah... I mean, Sarah must be happy. I mean, but... W- how is he treating? I don't know. There's two. This I, is two. All you can is, do is give your brutal honesty. Yeah. Like we said at the start. Mm-hmm. Say that you don't approve. Tell her what you t- think t- she t- should do. Tell her like, okay, brilliant. If that if this guy's serious about you, as you say, he needs to be leaving his fiance this month. I you would know, be. Like, it, I would be. This can't be dragging on. I like, would be incredibly tempted, you and Helen, to message Jenny. <sighs> what a fake account. On or a real on account, the, on, real, on a real yeah. account. No, we've got nowhere to hide. Yeah, that's true. We've got nowhere to hide. Yeah. Yeah, and I, and and sabotage it from the inside. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just to let Jenny know. Let what's Jenny been going know. On in Spain. Because then, if Brian is so unhappy with Jenny, then Jenny can leave Brian yeah. and Brian and Sarah can go can and go live and, happily ever yeah, after. Yeah, yeah. I'd be very tempted. Yeah. So we could intervene like that. And if you want us to intervene, let us know. No. <laughs> <laughs> because this is, this is wild. The thing is, Jenny might hear this and Jenny might have been having some inklings. True. And, and she might be piecing the puzzle. I don't think Jenny's a listener, though. Neither do I. We could get back to her somehow. No. Th- 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 there's no way. There's no way. It can't. <laughs> can't. It can't. This can't happen. <laughs> oh. We can't be the bearer of such bad news. I just, the only, the only, I'm just really glad that you've got Helen. Same. You've got another friend there yes. who can see, who agrees yes. with your point of view. Yes. And you're both together like, fucking hell, yes. she's off the rails. Like, yeah. at least you've got that. Um, <sighs> Listen, fresh, this is very complicated. Fresh love, 
right, is very hard to reason with. Isn't but it? Incredibly like hard to reason fresh, with. Fresh, like lust, love, obsession. In those first three to four months. So it's, you, ca- you cannot. People you, cannot be told. They cannot. It's like a drug. You cannot be told. Right? And someone could tell me anything about a man. But if but no if I've got given. but if I'm in love and it's and I, if you you're know, taking that drug yeah if the I, love if I, drug do you know what I mean you can't be told but God blimey I've got nothing else I don't know I don't know I don't know <laughs> it's I her life I don't know I it's think, just it's just a shame about this living situation you're gonna have to come yes. to an agreement on that y- you need to let her know like this is shit. Mm. Yeah, but but hopefully she comes to a realization before Christmas and next year will be normal. Yeah, listen, it, this could this could he pass. could drop off the face of the earth because he could he could realize no, I can't lose Jenny because mm. he he's living a double life right now. That's complete stressful. double life. Complete if he leaves Jenny, life. he loses a lot. Everything. Right, everything. Okay, he's gonna have to post a quite dramatic breakup statement on Instagram. Like mm-hmm. it's gonna be mm-hmm. his income's gonna take a right? hit, and he doesn't want to do that. No, right, because he's got it good with Jenny, and he's and got what, it great and, with Jenny. In that setup, right? They got mm-hmm. this gorgeous house and a fucking dog, right, mm-hmm. in Dubai. Mm-hmm. Their lives are so, so intertwined. Support. So if it uh, last point, if it was, I feel like I go to Sarah. Okay, Sarah. But I, you know, Brian needs to break, break up with Jenny this Could, month now. Mm. If he's so serious about it, if not, he's chatting shit. Yeah, he, you need to get that through to like he's saying a lot, but he, his actions aren't matching. All you the need to he's try saying. and reason with Sarah to get her to issue him with an ultimatum. Yes, yes. Saying okay, I'm okay. all for this. You tell me you love me and you're unhappy with Jenny. Brilliant, brilliant. Act, act on it then, babe. And if you don't, then I'm leaving. You've, you've got three weeks. Yeah, because we know they can chat all. They can chat all sorts. Mm. Keep us posted on that one, please. Jesus, what a way to start the episode. I might have to follow Jenny. And I might have socials. to follow Jenny. I know. No, we can't. No, well, we can't now. <laughs> but I'm going to screenshot that username. Shit. God, oh. I'll be keeping up with that. Oh no. Oh no, I feel it's like we've been really put in a same. Situation I, my here. moral compass is so I'm torn. This has never happened to us before. I know. We're really right in the crime scene. Oh, shit. We're on the front line. But it, but if I was Jenny, I'd appreciate that message. That's what Do I'm you know trying what I mean? to say. You'd but, want but, to know. But then on the other hand, it's like just don't get involved. It's not your business. Don't get involved. But it's, now we're privileged to this information. Do we have a responsibility? Yeah, we 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 are involved. We, 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 we're dealing the car we're dealing the what's that what's that don't know what are you trying to say we've been handed the, we've been dealt we've, the cards we've, we've, been, we've been dealt the cards that's <laughs> it <laughs> oh no we've been de- dealt jenny's future let us know what you want us to do there Seriously, let us know yeah, let us know we, we, we're a bit we can be your vessel if you need us to be yeah Whoa, whoa, hold your horses. Hold the horses, guys. Hold the phone. (laughs) Subscribe. (laughs) You better subscribe. (laughs) You better subscribe. (laughs) Down the lens. (laughs) This channel will crash and burn if you don't subscribe. I can see a lot more of you watch the video than are subscribed. That's just the stats. And that is rude. Rude. So subscribe. Please, it's the button. It's free. Helps us out a lot. <laughs> and it's a good time for everyone involved. Okay? Just push the button. Thank you. Push the button. Let me know. Right. Gosh, okay. can we lighten the mood? We had <laughs> some we had some deep dilemmas yeah. last week and now this. I know. Gosh. I know. It's a lot for us. Okay. Help girls. I think my twin sis- sister wants my boyfriend. Eh? Wow. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh God! And the, God. And the but you know what the worst part is about that? He fancies her. He fancies her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you fucking love Because he same. fancies you. Fuck's sake! No, I've could... already seen her naked because he's seen you no! naked. Ew, ew, ew. Ew. It's true. Ew. That's yeah. I know it is. That's disgusting. <laughs> I know. Ew. I always think that about twins. Same. Because I think, well, you fancy her. Yeah. What you know? Why are you with that one? Why are you? With, you know? It's just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like you might as well do what what that um uh, that those Australian twins did. The just share the same one, guy. just yeah. share one because they look we look the same, mm. you know. Yeah, but then you've got to share a man. Yeah. Okay. Right. Hey, girls. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. This is the backstory. Great. Me and my twin sister have always been super close. She is my best friend in the entire world. 
Nice. Nice. My partner and I have been together for one whole year. Okay. So we're extremely happy and we have the best relationship. Gorgeous. He is so respectful and kind and marriage is definitely on the cards for us. Mm. My twin sister also has a boy have a, has a boyfriend. Oh. They have been together for one year also. Oh. So is this this is a twin thing, isn't it? It's gonna be at the same time. Mm. You know? Okay. So my twin sister also has a boyfriend. They've been together for one year also. They are happy, but have had some hiccups along the way. Right. Since my sister has been with her boyfriend, I've noticed she doesn't have a filter and is very open about certain things, which I find about. Um, such as? When it's just me, such as, I'm not sure. But she tends to bring up things in front of my partner and my partner doesn't feel really comfortable about it. Okay, so is it more just like she's got no feels when it comes to like maybe sex, sex, sex and she's kind of talking, like, you know, you're fine talking about it with her in private, but in front of your partner, you feel a bit uncomfortable. Mm. And she said, my partner doesn't feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. The things she shows and talks to me about in front of my partner is about my, oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Is about my past. Oh. Is about my past to my past relationships and it makes me very uncomfortable. Okay, so she's bringing up like your past. Oh, she's trying to sabotage she's sab you. That, that's, that's, that's sabotage. That, that's classic sabotage, <laughs> isn't it? Sabotage. You know, that's like when you've got that friend who goes, oh, well, um, you know, just like puts you down in front of like boys. Yeah. You know, you know when they're like, oh, well. Yeah. I can't think of an example right now. Yeah. Trying, it's giving that vibe. trying to embarrass you in front of boys, trying yeah. to it's giving sabotage. bringing up embarrassing stories yes. purposefully mm. in front of certain people, people acting, that you like, acting yeah. as though it's all innocent and in jest, uh -huh. but you both know yeah. that it's not. Yeah, it's all that energy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, it's giving those vibes, right? Mm -hmm. So it makes me very uncomfortable. I've also told her, please don't mention the certain topics that she's bringing up in front of my partner. Because it's not a conversation that needs to be said or talked about. Yeah, it's not. No. It's not. Okay, another example. Me and my partner will be having a shower and she'll just walk in. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not normal. Boundaries. That's not normal. Boundaries. Boundaries. This is my naked boyfriend here. What? No, that's not normal, so. That's not normal. No, that's not. Fair enough when you're having yeah, a shower. Yeah. But not a not, naked man. No, no, but, not but, that. But I would be sick if I ever saw my sister's boyfriend in the nude. Do you know that's what I mean? not like, even it's, like it's, anything it's, that I want to even try no, and have in my no, head. No, I don't want to see anybody's boyfriend in the nude. No. Right. Okay, so yeah, this, this, this is a real issue. <laughs> This is a problem. <laughs> you know, th th this is a problem. She'll just walk in. She said, when it's just me in the shower, I'm fine because obviously we're girls. You yeah. Know, you're my twin. But when it's my partner and me, I feel really, That's really I'm fucking sorry, weird. I'm sorry. Get the fuck out of here. How are you? That's the really How weird. How in the moment are you just like, hey, 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 sis. Hey. <laughs> pass me the soap. Hey, sis. Can I show Just pass me a razor, please. What, what's Brian doing? Hey, my face right. wash on the sun. Like, are you not like screaming? Uh, I'd be screaming. Is your shouting. boyfriend not like, whoa. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. My disco sticks out. <laughs> right. Yeah. So it's making us okay. feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, no shit. You don't say. So I've also told her to stop doing that. So this has happened multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, know you, need, you really need to stop doing that, babe. <laughs> Fair enough. One time is a mistake. Two times, that's a choice. That's a choice. Is there not a lock on the bathroom door that you can <laughs> Obviously just... Obviously not. Or she's picking the lock with a fucking yeah. coin on the outside. That's a choice. She's choosing to do that. She, she yeah. wants a sight. She wants of the to penis. do that. She wants a sight of the naked bodies. Right. Right. So we tend to visit Is her Is she a coming lot. in to ask a question? Is she coming in to brush I, her I, teeth? I, 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 Is she coming in to get laundry? I, Is she coming in to just sit there and talk on the toilet? I, like... I, I, Sophia, I, I do not know. What's her reasoning? I don't know. I know. So many questions. So obviously this has happened multiple times. So we tend to visit her a lot and travel a lot, which means we share a room. The three of you. This is getting weirder. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
But I'm assuming that's like, you know, there's a blow up bed there. Once every, once in a blue moon. Yeah. Like thing is, is like sleepovers are fine. You know, blow up bed sofas. Yeah. It's thing but is, you would think, think it's a studio like, apartment. Okay, I'll be on the sofa too. You'd um, think it would be like, like the Bryans would probably be like, I'll sleep on the sofa. You girls take the bed. Yes. So why are we all in the same bedroom? Well, <laughs> Oh my god! No, no, no! no. I don't. I don't, I don't want it. No, no, no! Don't tell me there was anything no, sexual. No, 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 no! So, okay, we're all in the same room. Multiple times, I would tell her to put clothes on. No, <laughs> no, 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 no! I know. Sarah, have you got a fucking dressing gown or something? Sarah, you fuck. Cover up, babe. Put some fucking clothes on, babe. And no. she's thinking he's seen it all before. He's it, seen it. That is exactly what she's thinking. <laughs> hey, you've seen these tits. They're your tits, babe. We share the same tits. <laughs> oh my God. Sarah, what, what are, are you going doing? On in? Is she just like not thinking? Is she just like, I'm no, in my home. You. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just free. <laughs> like, no one's telling me. I'm free. This is my home. This is not, no. Sarah, please, Sarah, cover up. I beg of you, put some clothes on. What are you doing? I, I'm i hoping it's not knickers and thongs. Well, I hope it is. Oh, goodness. So multiple times I tell her, Sarah, please put some clothes on. Sarah, for the love of God, When please. she's walking from the bedroom to the bathroom while my partner's there, she will just yell out to him, close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, close your eyes. Okay, at least she's. No, I appreciate that. At least she's doing a call out, and she she understands. Like you can't see me in my naked state. At least she's aware of that. So <laughs> I'm actually happy that she's doing that. Not just like you're right. Good morning. At least she's aware. Who wants breakfast? It, it shows she has awareness, which mm. I'm happy about. Right, but. Ugh. But <laughs> close your eyes. <laughs> what if it's not quick enough? I know. Like... Oh God! Right. Okay. 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 So she'll just yell out, "Close your eyes." There's also been plenty. While of... she's midway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're, you're already fucking there, Sarah, babe. Um, <laughs> right. Okay. Um, okay. There. Oh God, I can't go on. There's also been plenty of times we stay at her house. And the room stop w- staying over, guys. <laughs> just, just please get a hotel. Get a hotel, <laughs> please. There's also been plenty of times we stay at her house, and the room we use doesn't have a lock on it. Oh, okay. So very convenient. Okay. Sarah's unscrewed them. <laughs> no, Sophia. Sarah's taken the lock. Okay, off. so you're not actually sleeping in the same room, which is good. <sighs> right. And the room we use doesn't have a lock on it, and she'll just walk in on us when we're having sex. <laughs> my eyes no sarah sarah listen up there's something going on in here why are you walking in knock well, who who is not knocking who is it knocking I on a was, closed door you know, if i was staying in my sister's apartment hello can i come in that's a common thing is everybody decent is everybody decent? decent oh oh, oh. oh. You, you know you're not just no hello. You're not just no, no, no. When you know when you're welcoming welcoming in a couple into your home, no. you, you you give them some privacy, privacy to get on with their with their relationship stuff. You know, kill blimey! <laughs> All right, and she said plenty of times. Uh, what? Let's see that. This isn't just what plenty of times. You think after one she'd be scarred? scarred. I think I'm never fucking doing Don't that I again. See you in that compromise position <laughs> ever again. But no, she she's not. <laughs> she's seeking it's, it out. Oh my God. So she would walk in on us when we were having sex. She even made a point to say, put a sock on the door so she knows not to walk in. Just oh, don't what the come sex in. Signal. A sock means we're having sex right now. <laughs> Sarah, just don't walk no. in. My partner has addressed this to me multiple times, saying it's making him uncomfortable and saying it's making weird. me uncomfortable because she, because she doesn't care about how he feels. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, help, I'm lost. What do I do how, and how I feel? Does she really want to get with my boyfriend? Okay, so now you're thinking she just fancies him. 
Yeah. Fuck. Even though I know he would never go there. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the long story, girls. Love you, girls. I'll attach a photo of me and my boyfriend and my twin sister and her boyfriend. I'm in the green dress. Brilliant. Okay. Gorgeous couple. Mm, he's an attractive guy. Not gonna really? lie. Beautiful oh, couple. Oh, he's handsome. Yeah, he's very handsome. Let's see the twin. How twin-like are yeah, you? Yeah, let's see. We're twinning. <laughs> We're twinning. Okay, this is this is this is the this is the twin and her respective boyfriends. We're twinning. Oh, we are twinning. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. the the boys are very similar. Yeah, they're giving the same stature. They could be brothers, but we're definitely twinning. We're giving big twin yeah. energy. Yeah, it, it's giving we're identical twins. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Oof, okay. Okay. This is a bit. This is interesting. Right. Okay. So, but your subject line was help. I think my twin sister wants my boyfriend. Yes, because you're kind of thinking happy with her boyfriend right now. She's kind of seeing you guys are happy. Okay. Do you know what I think this this maybe yeah, could tell be us what this one is. angle to look at this twins. I feel like they have such a special relationship. Such a special bond. Such a special dynamic. And it's I think it's very normal. I don't know, I'm not I'm not twin, but I would imagine it's very normal that when as twins grow up and their lives start to go on different, different paths, paths, as in like they're doing things at different times, I can see how that would be very unsettling. Because it is even yes. for like friends, for yes, example. So ca I can imagine with twins, twins. it's like, oh, sh you, what is going yeah, on? You had that that bond in the womb, and and, and I th and, and maybe yeah. this has got something to do with the fact that she can see that maybe you found your guy and you're really happy with your relationship yeah. and yeah. you know she can sense that and then she's thinking oh fuck wait I don't think my guy is the, the one the like it's yeah. making her reflect on her own relationship and then maybe this is something from her being like no you can't find the one before I found the yeah. one like we have panic. to be at the same time and is she just, is she trying to, because she knows she's going to be making your boyfriend uncomfortable if you've told her, yeah. is she trying to break you guys up so that she can then break up with her boyfriend yeah. and so you, can, do you can just be sisters again and yeah. not and not have this like, this. Yeah, I, I feel like it's less that of. That could be something. I feel like it's less of her wanting to sleep with him. Me too. And more of that. And more of more her of, own panic. More of her own panic knowing that her relationship is almost over because they're, they're at that breaking point. Mm. And then seeing And yours you, isn't. Seeing you thriving with him. Especially if you guys, like you said, you met these guys at the same time. It's like, been, been a year for the both of you. So, yeah. Uh, so, you were on the same path, the two of you, but hers is veering off and yours is just getting stronger. Yeah. That's, that's panic for She's friends. panicking. And that's panic for twins also. Yeah. Like it's never nice when there's a newly single friend and a friend who's in a long-term relationship. No, that, you're that, on that, different that, pages. That, it's hard, especially for twins, right? Yeah. So- I ooh. think that's what this could be. Same. Because the twin bond will never be able to we'll compare to a twin bond. We'll never know. Because you, you, it's like, it's, 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 it's minds Telepathic. and souls linked. You would never know. Okay, so we're gonna not stay at her flat again. Okay? Yeah, we're, we're, yeah. We're not gonna stay at her We're gonna avoid every situation we can. I think with also the like, aspect. If, yeah, if this, if we did get it right and that is how she mm. is feeling, I would approach her with, Instead of the like, oh, stop walking in. Yeah. Like, just approach her with like, Because Are you, okay? you maybe she's feeling quite panicked and maybe yeah. she's quite worried that she's losing her twin to to to, to, to a, guy a guy when yeah. she's not also like obsessed with a guy. Like, yeah. um, and you know, I think you need, I don't know, it's hard because you have spoken to her and you've said, stop walking in, stop doing this, stop doing that. Like, and it's, it's what more can you say? Time. It's not just the one time. So you need to just start putting mega boundaries in place you, and like stop st stop putting yeah. you guys in the situation where this can happen. No. Stop staying around. Yeah. Stop doing this. Stop doing yeah. that. And if she's like, oh, why aren't you at mine? Say, we've had to get a hotel because Brian, you've yeah. made Brian feel really uncomfortable because yeah. it's been, well, yeah. I've spoken to you about this. You've made this. us both feel this really shouldn't, This shouldn't be coming as a shock to you. Yeah. Like, of course I want to be at your house, but yeah. you keep, you've repeatedly walked yeah. in so many times. There's yeah. no boundaries. You're privacy. walking in naked when we're all shut. Like, that's just not, we need yeah. boundaries. Yeah, yeah. 
Yikes. Yeah, I mean, but, but then she's still bringing up inappropriate and you just need to keep drilling it into it. And then maybe, you know, you can keep have them a sit separate down for a while. Talk about um, her relationship. Maybe she mm. just needs to hear that you support her and that you love her and that it's okay if her relationships. And you know, because sometimes it's panicky when a relationship comes to the end and you don't kind of want to face it yeah. with your family and your friends. Scary. Right? Because it's scary. And then and, it becomes and, real. And it's embarrassing and you're like, oh, I don't want this to end. It's, oh, and you feel wanna, like once you know? you've told someone, I've got to act on it now. Right. I'm not sure if I'm ready to act so, on so, it, but now people are waiting for me to act yeah, on it. Yeah, maybe try and just like have a talk to her about her own relationship. How's it going? I support you no matter what decision you want to make. I'm yeah. always going to be here. I'm not going anywhere. Maybe it's yeah. that, like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm your fucking twin, you weirdo. Yeah. Like, I'm your twin. I don't have another twin. Mm, it's like, just two. It's just us two. And like, I, you know, yes, I love my Brian and I think we're going to get married, but won't take away from our relationship. Yeah. And you don't have to do these weird interfering weird things mm. you know because I'm, I'm always gonna love you what about you. your your mum what does your mum think about this could you talk to her yeah could you talk to uh, it's a bit uh, I don't know it's, it's one of them ones I don't know if I'd want to talk to my mum oh yeah I was having sex with my boyfriend and yeah I guess my not. sister fucking walked in multiple times <laughs> mum what's going on with that <laughs> Do you have any? Do you have any? <laughs> what is your take on that? what's your what's your take on that oh, oh good okay. luck yes Okay, next dilemma. Help. The ex-girlfriend is friends with all my friends. Oh, that's, that's a, hard. That's a situation I would never want to find myself in, to be honest. So I'm at uni, third year, as is my boyfriend, Brian. We've been dating since December, okay. but official since May. Okay, Brian so has an ex-girlfriend, also at the same uni. Okay. Similar friendship groups. Let's call her Sarah. Yeah. Sarah and Brian were sleeping together for a year, but only official for four months of that year. Oh, Myself and Brian met at joint sports social and hit it off straight away. Oh. I thought he still had a girlfriend, but he mm -hmm. told me they'd just broken up, which they had okay. brian broke up with sarah which wasn't mutual there were problems in their relationship right me and brian started going on dates and spending lots of time together but didn't make it official for a while to save feelings and we're at uni so we weren't sure whether we wanted to be yeah, official yeah, or blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah yeah is it the time yeah. yeah totally um me and brian are very involved in the sports social at uni so go out every wednesday in our respective socials and both go Love to the that. same club each week Love that. Sarah also goes to the same club, but I hadn't met her prior to this as we are in different socials. Yeah. Once word got out that myself and Brian were seeing each other, the hockey team. I'm on the hockey cheese of volley. Yeah. It started to get a bit nasty with Sarah in the club. For example, oh. oh my God. Wait, wait, wait. So this, a nightclub, are you talking about? Yeah. I was thinking so either. once Sarah got wind that Brian had moved on with this girl. It is getting a bit techy. Sarah and her friends would... Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. We're being violent, are we? Purp a little bit. Purposefully. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> purposefully <laughs> spilling drinks on us. Oh. Ex pushing, shoving. Okay. Push, this push. made me. We've all shoved someone in the club. <laughs> <laughs> so but we're not proud of it. Have. We're, not, we're not proud of it, but. <laughs> Okay, moving on. We've definitely. Yeah, okay. Shoves all, are so easy in a club. are so stuff. easy. <laughs> <laughs> we were 18 we were young okay. let's move on okay but spilling this, sp spilling is us annoying as fuck this made me bring up questions to Brian as to why this was happening after realising yeah. that this was the ex-girlfriend Sarah oh okay obviously didn't want to get into their relationship but this was now affecting our relationship yeah. um, me and Brian are very open about the situation and he's nice about it and doesn't justify her actions and always says he feels guilty about it happening now guilty about, about G guilty about what the shoving and the pushing and the drink spilling or guilty we, about her I, I don't know we never rub it in her face when she's around that we're together out of respect yeah that's nice fast forward a few months to us being together officially and everything is still going super well we're talking about living together next year etc yeah. it was beginning to get a bit difficult with Sarah with this sort of stuff happening every week so oh. I initiated a conversation one Wednesday night I pulled her aside and said I was sorry about what was happening and I just yeah. wanted for us to be civil as we do have to see each other quite a lot and yeah. we have similar friends. Yeah. She agreed and we had a nice oh. conversation um, so we could both get past this. Yeah. However, a month after the chat, Sarah has become closer to my friends Typical. and this has become very difficult as me and Brian feel like we can't go to other social gatherings yeah. that Sarah will now be at yeah. we always smile as I'm friendly as po and be as friendly as possible yeah. um, 
But I can also appreciate that it must be quite difficult being in Sarah's situation, seeing your ex in front of your face, someone else. Yeah, it, it's, it's difficult on both sides, isn't it? This weekend, um, Brian's close friends were hosting a Halloween party. Sarah lives with these friends. This is current. Mm, two weeks ago, everyone was invited to the house party through a large group chat. Me yeah. and Brian were not sure if we wanted to go, okay. but decided that we would as all of our friends were also going. Yeah. The day before the party, Brian's close friend, John, the host <laughs> messaged Brian if he was going to be coming. Yep. He said yes. Absolutely. John messaged back and said, I was no longer invited. You but just said John was the host. Oh, 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 he's uninvited you. Oh, John, what? But Brian was still okay to go. Wait, wait, Sarah wait, wait. and her girlfriends, which I don't know, were speaking all week about whether or not I should be invited. Oh, so John has uninvited you, but Brian's fine to go. Yeah. <gasps> So Ooh. John lives with Sarah or Sarah's, Sarah's mates. mates. Yeah. And Ooh. okay. But also it's like, we've had a conversation. We said, look, obviously this is shit circumstances. We can't control this. Look, and if we probably have met outside of Brian, we probably would be mates because we're exactly. friends with all my mates. We'd probably get along. We'd probably get along, but it's just this, this mm. tension, but we've agreed to be civil. So why can't we be in the same building? Like mm -hmm. we don't like, you don't have to look at each other. Yeah. Like, and it's getting it's getting silly now because now it's affecting your life. Like, it's affecting I think you and all your other friends now. Getting uninvited to parties. Like, this is going to be a big party. Like, yeah. this is not like an intimate, like, six-person dinner. No. I'd, I'd more so understand that. But like a big house party, like, come on. Sarah's, you know, taking the piss with that. So obviously I was really upset as all my friends were going. I'd sorted my outfit and I thought we'd put this drama behind Not us. My housemates and Brian have turned around and have all said they won't go as it isn't fair. Aww, good. That's nice. You've got some good friends. Good. Brian plays rugby every week and Sarah Ooh. will always go and watch his games. Afterwards, everyone goes to the pub and on multiple occasions, I've been sat at a table waiting for the people to turn up. And when she does, she will purposely sit at another table and ignore me, even when I offer her to sit with me. Yeah. And my friends from social will proceed to sit with her, which makes me feel very awkward. That I'm is awkward. finding this very difficult recently as Sarah is getting very pally with my friends and yeah. I feel like she's phasing me out the group. Yeah. I'm not a confrontational person either. So yeah. not sure what I can do about this situation. Am I being unreasonable? It seems like my relationship's affecting a lot. Yes. Thanks for the pod. Oh, oh, yeah. This is not that 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 table situation is not nice as no. well. Watching your friends go and sit with someone, you know, not you. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's and it's almost like they're siding with. Yeah, her. it is. It is really annoying when your relationship starts to cause. Like, you know that you're making your life harder almost. Being in this relationship. Being in this relationship. And, but, and, 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 but then it's like- But the, you love this guy and you want to be, and it's not him. It's just outside factors. And it's just unfortunate that you guys are all in close circumference, close- Perimeter. Word? Perimeters. Perimeters. Yeah, like- Circumference. Circumference. What? Yeah. Um, it's, what's it's, the circumference of a square? Those are the questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What was that thing called where yeah. you put the pencil protractor. in? Protractor. <laughs> no, where you put the pencil in, you can draw a perfect circle. Is that not a protract? I thought a protractor oh, wait, yeah. was the heart, was the sun, was the half. Yeah. Uh, I just, what's the, what's the circumference of this circle? Oh, what's the cares? circumference of this? Length times by width is the perimeter. Right, anyway, yeah, yeah. back to it. Yeah, I really feel sorry for you because it's not nice to endure something Be like this. So if you want your relationship to like you want to be able to have fun with your friends with with, with, with your boyfriend you, mm. you you know relationships are hard enough as they are let alone with more factors like okay now the strain on our friends outside dramas uh, yeah and now you know we can't go to certain events because we're avoid you know it, it's just more stress hassle and hassle that the, the negativity you, do, you don't want a negativity and it, it almost feels like it's directed towards you two as a couple as well it's like we're, we're, we're feeling this negativity because mm. we're together yes and it's people, like, it's are people like not Romeo rooting and for us Juliet, right? yeah star-crossed like lovers who's supportive support, supportive of us like yeah it, it, it's shit because mm. you want people to love you as a couple and you know what i mean when you're yeah. so in love right yes 
The so only peace of mind I think. What to do? What to do? The but, only peace of mind I think you can get is that you're finishing uni next year. Yeah. And this is gonna. That there is an end. There is an end in sight. The, the end is in clubs sight. And the social gatherings. Yes, and you will. But then it's still her friend. Like she's still mm. going to be friends with some of the roommates, and mm. and they're still. You know, we're, I mean, yes, people will move away. I guess for jobs, and it will be less of that kind of groupy groupy Clicky. vibe. Yeah, which I guess will benefit you in your instance. People and, will water and, down, and you shouldn't have. You won't be running into what's her name. No, will she after next year? I guess no. Every Wednesday. So no. if your relationship is worth it. Stick it out. Stick it out. You know, I'm really happy that your housemates kind of side that that Definitely. shows they're real true friends. Yeah, you should you lean know? into because those people. Because they could have easily gone, oh, fuck you, I'm still going to the I've party. got my outfit, I want to go. The right. boy I fancy is going to be there, so exactly. I want to go. They could have been selfish and, and done that. And, yeah. and also your your boyfriend could have gone, oh, well, I'm still going to go mm-hmm. and disrespected you in, in that instance. So yeah. It shows you've got some good friends around you and you've got a good boyfriend who's looking out for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's really shitty and yet it is kind of like she's like rallying mm. you know all your kind of mates yeah you know she's kind of turning on the charm but factor y- with like, them and yeah. then there's sometimes nothing worse than mm-hmm. that when someone's making such an effort with people who you wouldn't be making an effort if i, I wasn't dating your ex do you yeah. know what i mean yeah i mean you can hope that sarah starts to fancy someone new and then she'll be distracted and she'll be distracted yeah. and she'll be with his friends yeah. and she'll be on a different thing and what it is is the hurt she clearly liked him a lot yeah she's, she's just handling this all all wrong yeah and we all have and we've all handled exactly. it wrong exactly and it's just because you're in this like god we see her all the time you have to and see it's her. yeah but in the it's real world reminder. you wouldn't have to deal with this no, it's true hopefully unless you work together or it's something it's true i have never seen an ex's a, a, a boyfriend's ex in flash i have have you Mm. Oh, but you you knew her before. Yes, but yes. that same one and another one. We were all in a club. I was very. I was so oh, I, nice. I was so yes, friendly. Yes, yes. I didn't actually speak to her. Yes, but um, he came up to me and said, "This is a long time ago, guys." He came up to me and yes. said, "Oh, yes. Um, my ex is here." Appreciate that respectful king and then i said oh well you should you should go and say hello so she doesn't wow, feel awkward Sophia. i was 18 and i was mature <laughs> how mature is that i'm so mature I go, we're leaving let's go <laughs> i said oh you should go and say hi like you know because yeah, so, no bad vibes here yeah, absolutely and then yeah they 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 had a little conversation and that was it i Did smiled you go, at her hi. no i didn't i thought you, weren't you there weren't you there no i don't think i was there I think you were. Fuck off. Was, was that? that night when that? I think you were? Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Where were we? We were in Baba. Baba. Mm-hmm. What a place. <laughs> what a place. Been sick over the over the bar in Baba. We were in Baba and didn't get kicked out. Didn't get. That was yeah. brilliant. I remember. Uh, that's yeah. in my brain. Same, that. Yeah, I always, I always remember that. I'm like, <laughs> what a disgusting rat I was. Like that. <laughs> that is club rat. That is <laughs> disgusting. But yeah, I remember that. It. Yeah. Do you not? You don't remember Wait, that? Wait, no. Because it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, no, absolutely. We didn't we did make it a big deal. No. no we were so, oh, you're right. So respectful. <laughs> so respectful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so. Um, hmm. Brilliant. Well, yes, it's, it's, it's shitty. Yeah, it's it shitty. is shitty. But then I've been in another situation and I've not been so respectful and I've been like, oh God, like you can't help it. You, 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 the thing is you never want to see your partner's ex. No. Ever. Sometimes that, it just winds you up the wrong that, way. That, that's why I'm surprised that she is putting herself in situations to be around you guys. Me too. Because I'd be avoiding it like the plague. Me too. Do you know what I mean? Me but, but too. But I, I couldn't, but I physically couldn't. Like, I just don't want to see it. No. So the fact that she's trying really hard to kind of make your life a misery as well, but in turn, she's hurting as well because it's not nice to see. No, it's not. It, it, it's it's, it's just, not nice for either it, of you. It's not nice for Ed. It's not nice for Bright. It, 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 it's just shit for everyone. But it will pass. But, but it will pass. And like Soph said, like, it's Once very you get normal. out there, it, you know, get away from the uni society and, and clubs, and culture. Because like, you're all living on the same campus. You're all yes. in the same vicinity. Yeah. Once that kind of disperses, you'll feel it'll be a distant memory. It will be a distant memory. I. Mm. But I'm happy you've got a good boyfriend and, and good mates Me too. who are siding with you and Me are too. supporting you. Kill them with kindness. Yeah. Kill them with kindness. Kill them with kindness. Kill them with kindness. Kill all right. Well, on that note, we're going to quote, bring the episode to a close. Quote. What should I look up for? I'm going to do quotes about being civil with exes. There she goes. Let's find it. 
This is why ignorance is bliss. It, it, it is. And That's, it's lovely it in the real world when you haven't got a clue. It, it, it I is. couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. I, I love that. I could That's not what tell you. The last thing you want ignorance is, is bliss. names and faces. All I need to know is, okay, there was an ex. I just need to know when. Yes. How long did it last? Do we want to know why, That's it, my question. why it ended? No, don't care. I don't really care either, but... Uh, I would... Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. I think, yeah, why it ended when and what you learned from that relationship. You know? <laughs> How are you going to make this one better? <laughs> what did you learn? What did you learn from that? And what are you applying to mm. this one? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it, it is. Yeah. That, Just it, tell me what I need to know. Yeah. And I can move on. Yeah. Kindness. these I mean, aren't really just, the vibe we could just these are giving like you know these are these are giving bitchy uh, these quotes oh is it <laughs> well look we could just sing an excerpt of killer with kindness, Kill with kindness. Fr from selena Kill that could kindness. be our motivation song for this episode god i mean this Kill goes em. out to the first girl remember that oh god what happened on the first girl can't fucking remember oh <laughs> shit me jenny and brian oh god how could i forget this says if you start a relationship being the other woman, you will never be the only woman. <sighs> cool, blimey. Well, yeah, I mean, if he's not going to break Listen up to with this. Jenny. <laughs> Listen to this. Ran into my ex and his new girlfriend and she looks just like I did when I was with him. <laughs> like a damn fool. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that was funny. Uh, Oh, that's all right. Funny. Well, we could leave it on that note. Yeah, should we leave it on that? That's wisdom. That's wisdom <laughs> if I've ever heard it before. I don't have exes. I have examples of what not to do again. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <sighs> Isn't it weird? So that we weird. Form these these intense and then they're exes, and it's like, like exile. Oh, you know, we were in quote unquote in love with with some people who we wouldn't, who we don't know now. Who we don't I know that's strangers. What, like, we were so we shared such. You it's know, like you were strangers, someone. then you weren't. Now you're strangers it's again. It's fucking weird if you ask Crazy. me. Crazy, like it's fucking. And then we're trying to get to know new people, new strangers, and form these connections. What? Why are we doing this for, babes? <laughs> All right, guys. Okay. Thank you so much for listening. Um, if you want an extra episode of the girls' bathroom every single week, you can get it on Patreon. Absolutely. <laughs> Chintzy's shaking her fist. Brand new episodes on Patreon every single Monday. Yes. And you can email We're going your dilemmas. On tour if it's not already sold out. If it's not already clear, you can email your dilemmas to hello at thegirlsbathroom.com. You can follow us on TikTok at the girls bathroom on Instagram at the girls bathroom. So we'll see you next Monday if you're in the group chat. And we'll see you next Wednesday. If you're back are. here again. Love you. Love you. Have a good week, Bye. guys. Bye. Bye.